Hey, this is Christine from Nova Conversions here to show you our latest build, the Bandito. Come on inside and let's check it out. We built this van on a 144 inch 2021 Mercedes Sprinter van. It only has a thousand miles and it's for sale now. So if you like what you see, check out our website for more information. Starting in the front, one of my favorite things about this van build is that you've got your whole electrical control panel right when you walk in. This one shows you your electrical charge on your solar panels, which you've got three of up top providing 300 watts of solar energy. This turns on and off your inverter so you can charge all of your devices. And then this one controls the Bluetooth speakers that run along the ceiling of the van. As well as on both of the back doors. Um, next, we have these natural uh, finished wood countertops and a farmhouse sink. The sink's great because this comes off swivels around, makes doing dishes really easy. You've got tons of storage. All of these drawers pull out. This cabinet space is open. And on all of our cabinets, we have magnets and belt inlay so that there's no jiggling as you're driving around and you don't have to worry about anything coming open. You've also got an induction cooktop. Right here, you've got a conveniently located fridge. You don't have to worry about opening any drawers to pull this out and you don't have to worry about it also popping out as you're driving. The, drip, the fridge can hold 65 liters and you've also got a small freezer compartment inside. One of the cool parts about this van is all of the hidden features. For instance, right when you walk in, you've got this great little cabinet where you can slide off your shoes, store them right inside and keep your van super clean. Another cool feature is that you've got a pull out portable toilet um, this drawer can support 260 pounds, so you can either sit right on it or pop it out, put it on the ground, take it outside, wherever you want to do your business. Um, the van also features plenty of space for sitting, eating, working, because it's got this awesome pull-out seat and pull-out table. And then you've easily got space to hang out with friends, do some work, or just relax in your van. Um, another feature I love about this van is that we added flares to either side of the bed, making it big enough to support a 6'5 person comfortably. We thought a lot about ventilation when building this van. You've got a Dometic AC unit located right above the bed that doubles as a fan, as well as a sliding window on the side of your flare so that you can wake up to a nice cool breeze. In addition to all of your overhead storage, we've also got storage located below the bed. So you pop it up and you've got plenty of hidden drawers for clothing, gear, whatever you need. Um, and you've got tons more storage located in your garage. So let's go around back and we can check that out. Welcome to the garage. So one of the big things that we really cared about in this van was big gear storage. So in this garage space, you can fit bikes, surfboards, all of your gear that you don't want to sit on the outside of your van is safely and conveniently tucked inside. Um, and you've got access through these two doors also in the front of the van, which is great. You're not having to get out at night or if it's raining, you can get everything from inside of the van. On the left side of your van is all of your water storage. So you've got a 33 gallon tank in here, as well as a water heater and the best part, an outdoor shower, which comes up right onto this door. And is great for taking a shower after surfing or after a long dirty hike. On the right side of your van, you've got all of your electrical storage. So everything to turn the van on and off is located right in here, as well as your inverter control panel. And lastly, in this cabinet over here, you've got three Battleborn lithium ion batteries providing 300 amp hours. Art of your garage is that you've got speakers located on both of the doors outside. This is awesome if you're camping or having a beach day, you wanna put two lawn chairs out here and listen to some great music and post up and have a day. On the outside of the van, we've got this awesome ladder from Flatline Van Co, as well as a roof rack that supports your solar panels and AC unit. And on the outside, we added these flares, which not only provide a ton of space on the inside of the van, but also look pretty cool on the outside of the van.
I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams, also 25 video tutorials which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.